fucking I know it. enough. I know I need your badge number and your name. 529. Too. 529. 529 is my badge number. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Why are you, are you trying to threaten me? No, I'm not. Are you threatening me? You're looking very scared. like you're trying to threaten me. Andy here. Now, obviously this video is very supercharged and we really want to get you the best information for any topic when we do cover it. Now, essentially, we want to talk about the potential abuse of power when it comes to police officers in situations like this. We see a video of someone asking for a police officer's name and you can have a bit of potential power trips as a police officer. It just varies, but we're going to break down essentially what happens with police officers and what is essentially crossing the line. In this video, a TikTok user named Metal Eater captured a whole verbal dispute between an officer and two detained suspects. One detained suspect demanded for a supervisor because he claims he was, quote, unlawfully searched. The officer responded back, aggressively claiming he is a supervisor. The detained suspect then demanded for his full name and badge number, but this response was given instead. No, I just want to ask for your supervisor. Sorry. It's crazy, okay. man. Can I ask for your supervisor? I am the supervisor? Oh, you are the supervisor. Okay, definitely. What was your name and your badge number again? What you said? Checking you, my name. Oh, I got that on wow. camera. Very shocking how that is. Now here's the deal. We don't know the exact situation. We have a snippet, this little video of the entire situation at hand. So when you're looking at the video, you're looking at a suspect who seemed to be pretty polite in the situation, asking for the police officer's information about a supervisor. And this was the response we got. So it's pretty interesting to see the dynamics, but again, we don't know the full situation. The suspects were clearly not acting out of proportion and they both seemed very cooperative during the searches, which stirs up the question of why the officer had to act the way he did. Could the officer be having a bad day or was there something else involved that happened before the incident? We really don't know for sure. Many TikTok users are criticizing the whole situation, saying that the officer was clearly in the wrong and his behavior was very unprofessional, regardless of what the suspects did to be searched in the first place. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering in this video, why are we not holding police officers more accountable? Why is this more power or force of authority uh, not being taken seriously? And that's really why we wanna talk about this as a next step because maybe that's part of what we need is keeping police officers at an understandable level. And this abuse of power that really comes up is really frustrating, number one. Part two, it can be dangerous. It makes people not wanna work with the police, talk to the police. Even when you're having a simple run-in with the police on the sidewalk, you, you can get really uneasy. Well, people get upset. Yeah. I'm at the end of the day, whether it looks funny or not, you were driving with a motor vehicle on a road. Yeah. You packed up, so therefore yeah. I'm requiring you to provide proof of drivers. You are kidding us right <laughs> no, no, now. Because you can I see can why people get upset. Or you're going to shoot me, officer? If you use that weapon against me, weapon. then I'm yes, that I'm is a consideration. You. I'm my All business. you have to do is comply Everything. right now. Officer, you're going to shoot me. Big ass deal out of nothing, Brody. You're making a big ass deal out of nothing. You real big, big though, huh? Hey, yeah, you real big. Hey. hey. You real big. Bro, we live here. Dude, just leave them alone, bro. Videos like these are nothing more than simply the truth being told right in your face, and there's a reason why the public really relies on their video evidence so they can capture moments like these and prove why these bad officers are to be held accountable for their actions. Yet again, with a lot of these videos coming up, a lot of the media gets to these videos and still nothing is always done about it. That's the, the phrasing. Anyway, you know what I mean? Essentially, these videos are everywhere and we have a lot of people who essentially are trying to end police brutality. As many know, George Floyd's incident is a really good example of why African Americans in particular are fed up with the federal's force of power. The demand for change and accountability is already explained through various protests that have happened and it only goes to show why society is upset as it is. Many minorities and people of color are going to continue to demand for change until they eventually receive some sort of compensation, not money-wise, but for the way they've been treated for all these years. So again, we don't know the true context of this. This is a short video of the entire incident whole, but there are, again, numerous, numerous times or cases in history where we've seen videos come out and still nothing is done to course correct them as much as the uh, justice system, I guess, should be. So overall, let us know what you think, how it's trending, and let me know at Andy Luani for, uh, I guess, your opinions in this. And if you have more videos we should cover, follow us at What's Trending. But uh, we'll see you soon and stay safe.